Hey, what's up guys? So back again, this time with No Man's Sky. This game came out in 2020 and I've never played it. So keen to actually brought this last night. Watched a bit of a trailer about it and I was just amazed. Thought I'd get, get this and start playing this for a bit. So yeah, a lot of game modes. Normal, relaxed, custom, creative, survival. We'll start off with normal and explore that an infinite journey explore and survive in a boundless universe this game is called no man's sky begin initialization new ichimono 71.1 degrees celsius which is very hot so obviously this planet's really hot What's this guy up here? This little... Oh, you can fly with a jet. That's cool. Offer this little animal food. Scanner. Critically damaged. So... How do I offer him food? It says to press square. Creature pallets required. So, <clears throat> I've got to find some creature pallets before I can start feeding animals. Wow, look at all this nature. Look at the colour of that. Unidentified plant carbon analysis. Oh, what's that big guy over there? Gassy pod. New item recorded. Oxygen. Hazardous flora. Oh, he's toxic. I thought he was toxic. It's all green. Green gas coming off it. <laughs> what's this? Dire hydrogen crystals. Scanner critically damaged. Let's see if I've got a base here somewhere I can go to. So I can fly. Only for a short time though. I just damaged my health by doing that. So we'll go on the top of this hill and see what's over there. Or do we have a map we can look at? Unidentified plant. Resource deposit. Sodium. Terrain manipulator required. The temperatures dropped to 61. This looks like lava or is it unidentified mineral? Pure ferry. Advanced mining laser required. No, it doesn't look like I can get up the top of there so... We'll go the way it started us facing, which is this direction. What does it say here? Scanner required. Repair immediately. Gather ferrite. Ferrite. Extract ferrite dust by shooting small rocks. Use R2 to fire the multi-tools mining beam. Ferrite dust. So, got to try and find ferrite dust. So, what did that just do? Dihydrogen is the key component. It said something about dihydrogen being the key component. So these are crystals, we'll, we'll mine these crystals, because these are going to do something good for us. <clears throat> Unidentified plant, carbon. Carbon times 45. Need to fix my scanner. Ferrite dust, there we go. There's ferrite dust, so we'll get, we'll get this and fix our scanner. New item recorded to catalogue ferrite dust. I've got 30 out of 75, I've got to keep getting this up to 75 to fix our scanner. So. Yeah, they look like little round, different shaped rocks. Fluoro rocks. Here's more here. 54. We'll get those diamonds while we're here. Or crystals. Oh, what's that? Sodium rich plant. Let's get that. Sodium's always good. Unidentified material. It's the ferrite again. What about 59? Almost there. Oh, what's this? It's a metal object. Vision of the Gek. Lala. Moose. Stone resonates. Producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A small alien life form kneels before me. They are tired, beaten, without meeting my gaze. They offer up their hand. Accept knowledge? The name Gek floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in the alien tongue is seared into my brain. Let's keep finding this dust. Ferret dust. Oh look, there's some supplies. Damaged container. Rusted metal. Damaged container. Move damaged components and scrap to open. Free slots 19. Starship outrange. Free the slots. And I think I think we did it. Search this. Carbon. My carbon's going up times 48. Dihydrogen. It's going up. Alright, so there was some supplies we got. Still on the search for ferrite dust. Looks like there's some over there. This should be enough to be able to give us all the dust we need. It's 75, there we go. 
Scanner critical damage, recommended repair scanner to locate survival resources. Repair scanner. Yep, let's repair it. Exosuit inhalation. Recharge mining beam. Mining beam? Recharge that. So you recharge the mining beam with carbon. There we go. What else can we do? Picture mode. And take pictures. I mean, let me try that again. Try and take a picture like that. Just effect take screenshot. What button is that? It's telling me to press take screenshot. I've got to figure out how to do this because I want a picture. I can make a better. Oh, look at that. That's a perfect shot. I don't, I don't know what button to press there. Really annoying how it doesn't. It says press a button that looks like the large button on the Sony pad, but that's not it. I'll have to Google that. So we're still trying to repair the scanner. So the scanner is zero by one. Use the large button to access multi-tool inventory. Repair equipment with X. I'm pressing X. What's going on? I'm pressing X. That's what it says. Access the multi-tool inventory. Repair equipment with X. There's the multi-tool. I'm pressing X. Nothing's happening. Scanner critically damaged. I know. How do I repair it? It's, it's not working, man. This is like a mouse. I have to hover over it. Repair. Exosuit initialization in progress. Recharge hazardous protection with sodium recharge with a quick menu. Sodium recharge. Hazardous protection. Sodium. Onsuit initialization in progress. Recharge the marked signal. Exosuit detected. Automated signal broadcast. Si uh, there's the marked signal somewhere. Well, looks at it. The signal's everywhere. Sodium rich plant. So yeah, sodium and carbon are important by the looks of it. Because they do, they repair your tools. So you can get more resources and they repair your suits. Oh, I didn't get all the crystals. Oh, what's in here? Oh, I almost fell. What are, what are these things? Subterranean relic. Vortex cube. I reckon this stuff's rare, so we'll get it. I'm gonna get away from that. We'll keep going to these signals. Oh, the signals, they need to go to the red signal. So, get out of there. I've seen the red signal over here. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, red signal. It's 200 meters, it? Looks like it's 10 meters away. <laughs> There's a base, like a base. My ship. Oh, it's on fire. I probably need to repair it. Interation. Scenario. Interation. 23118 7661T. Deleted. Bound. Boundary. Operation failure likely. Vessel 16. Pedant. Cause. Sentinel. Intervention. Deliberate transfer. Analysis. Fresh. In interation. Generated. Anomaly. Terminant prepared. Broadcast. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. It's 72.7 .7 degrees. Let's see this damaged machinery. Pair damage components to open. Residual goop junk. A pulsating foul smelling goop that builds up in poorly maintained machinery. Skin contact is not advisable. Total value, 1,900 units. Marvest material. Deposit blocking material in inventory. Destroy blockage. Exosuit. Free slots. Exosuit. Starship. Exosuit. Upgrade modules. Upgrade modules improve a specific technology you have already installed. Each module is unique. Search out specific or rare modules at each space station. Unsuit initializer. Upgrade module acquired. Open the inventory with the hydrogen jelly. Damaged container. Rusted metal junk. Hand faults or corroded metals distorted by years of exposure to the harsh environment. Here's our ship. Interation. Online. Atlas connection. Intermittent. Launch thrusters. Offline. 
pulse engine offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. We'll read the log. Log 4925A, unavailable. Substituting data. Exosuit connected. Suggestion. Pilot should perform maintenance. Selected desire. Repair path. Repair ship systems. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. Pulse engine critically damaged. Provides space and atmospheric flight. Proposition system is highly damaged and requires metal plating and a hemorrhagic seal to repair. I think I picked up metal but it was rusted. Hemoretic metal plating. How do I get that? I'm gonna hop back in and then I'm gonna see if I can connect my exosuit to see what happens. Can't do that. Restore point save. So I think we've got to look for metal. We're still at ferrite dust. So we'll go starship restoration sequence initialize. Select ferrite dust. 8 out of 50. Here's ferrite dust here. Craft metal plating to repair pulse engine. So this ferro dust is really important, it repairs, it repairs everything. This looks like a whole big chunk of ferro dust, but it's not. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Got 50 out of 50, so we can craft the metal. What about on a utility? No, it's not on a utility. It's mining beam, life support, hazardous protection. I think we have to go back to the starship to do this. Oh no, here, and then craft the ferro, uh, cra this is starship. Exodus. Where does it say to go? Access inventory. Uh, I think inventory is in my suit. So, mining beam scanner, engine pulse sector, and exosuit, jetpack, hazardous protection, life support, oxygen. Where's the uh, ferrite dust? So if we click on that, don't know what to do here. Rough metal plating to repair pulse engine. Use them to access inventory. Use X to craft an empty slot. So, modify metal plating. There we go. Transfer items. Ferrite dust acquired. Left the ferrite dust. Put that there. And we'll try and put the metal plating in there. Starship guidance message launch thruster. Critically damaged. Press X to exit. Alright, so I haven't put it in my inventory yet. So inside the starship, it's 19 degrees. Outside, it's 70 degrees or something. Pulse engine. There we go. Rep Pulse engine part repaired. Initiation. Interation. Functional. Starship critically damaged. Vital ingredients missing. What am I missing? Able to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires hematic seal. Request assistance. Fermented interation comparison reveals hematic seal nearby. A salvage planetary chart from distressed beacon cache. Beacon cache. Is that, is that here? Yeah, there it is. I appear inside the beacon housing as well as its distress broadcast until it contains a planetary chart. Take planetary chart. Starship repair. Gather materials. Plan planetary chart recovered. Open the inventory to view data. Highlight the chart and use square to plot a route. Planetary chart. I'll um, plot the route. Reach the marked coordinates. So I have to go over there. The ship hasn't repaired fully yet. I have to go over here to get the hemorrhagic seal and then come back and repair the ship. Miyogi, what's up bro? Cheers for that. How can I get over the top of that mountain? Because last time I tried to go up there, I wasn't able to get over the mountain because it was too steep. Unless there's a certain route that I go up. Incoming storm. That's not good. Looks like I'm able to get up here. Warning, incoming storm. Seek shelter in a cave. I'm gonna go in here. This looks like a cave. I'm gonna wait for that storm to pass by the looks of it. I'll gather some of this stuff while we're here. 
Scanner recharging. All right. Can we get out now? Or is the storm? The storm's still there. It's only just up the top of the hill. I might be able to get up there. Oh, it's a hundred degrees out there. Holy crap! So the storm's clearing. Nice. It's a hundred degrees out there. How's this guy able to move in his suit? All right, the storm's gone. Oh, so the storm, it was just a heat wave storm. Because it's back to 61 degrees now. So yeah, you definitely can't make it through one of those storms. It's too hot. You'd make it 100 meters and die from heat exhaustion. Oh, what's that? Food. Oh, the, the animal wants food. Just over the top of this hill. Oh, there's some supplies. Rusted metal. Got some carbon and some metal. It's like a little little hut, a little house. Image machinery. Grab whatever we can from that. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's a ship. There's three ships. Four ships. Where are they going? Temperature levels stabilizing. Alright. Accessing archive. Six slash seven logs corrupted. Entry 4924A follows. No one. Making the recording in case Kaz leaving behind. Kaz in the fabricator might be of some use. Visit damage. Can't find ship. Cover supplies. The log finishes and the machine worries to life. Splitting out supplies. I have the hemorrhoic seal. I need to repair the ship. Sweet. However, it was that led me here. Whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. So I'm going to go back to the ship now, I think. Starship, repair, find hermic seal. No, I've got to find the hermic seal, which should be over here somewhere. Use analysis Vazar R2 to locate Starship. Multi-2 expansion analysis Vazar. I think I did that too, too early, because I have to find the... The material first. Maybe it might be in this one. Let's check this one. You can get up now. Nancy's received times 10. Definitely plenty of places to sit. Plenty of chairs. I'm gonna go get some resources over here and then head back to the ship, I think. So I'll get up there. There is a tower there, maybe. Is that something I can interact with? Let's see what this is before we leave. I think it's just a satellite dish connected to the hub. Nothing. <laughs> Open the inventory with uh, install analysis visor. I don't think I have the material I need yet. We have to do the analysis visor, which is this one here. Insufficient resources. I need to go find that resource. I forgot what the resource is called. It's like Hermer or something. Some type of Hermer resource. And I skipped the option to um, be able to find that. Craft carbon nanotubes. So I need carbon nanotubes to create the analysis sizer. Carbon nanotubes. I think the carbon nan nanotubes were the tubes inside the, the caves. So I have to find a cave. I don't know. I think the starship was... The starship was down here, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. I'm a little bit lost here. I think maybe this direction. If I had a compass, I'd be able to figure out where it was, but I don't, don't have a compass. I don't even know if a compass would work on this planet. What the hell? Look at this. Please, friendly. Oh, he just runs away. Oh, I'm back here. Come on, guys, hit that button. I'm lost. I'm actually lost. I don't know what direction I'm supposed to go. Oh, I remember going over a hill, right? I need to fix my thermal protection, hazardous protection. And we're down here. Hazardous protection 16, sodium. Alright, there we go. I'm good. I'm gonna repair my life support too. More oxygen. Wait, so I need to find, make, make sure I'm finding oxygen and carbon to be able to repair my oxygen and health. I'm pretty sure, because I. The, sh the, the little houses are over that way, the hubs. And I'm pretty sure I come from this direction over the hill. And my starship's down here somewhere. And there's a cave where I can get the carbon. Or can I can I go to my ship? So there there we go. There's a Oh. What happened? Up over there? Is that a green rock or is that 
Oh, it looked like a cave. I thought it was a cave. Damn it. Over this way. I know what, there was a hill. I went over a hill and then there was a, a box and resource supplies on the hill. And I stopped and got box and resource supplies from there. And then I worked my way back from there somehow. But I can't, I haven't found the box of supplies yet. Did I walk past them? There's got to be a way for it to, is that my, no, that, is that where I was? Oh my God. So I've got to go over that way. Or was it that way? Or is that, are they different houses? I think they are. I mean, I got the carbon. I just don't know how to craft the nanotubes. Let's try doing it here. Modify, craft, carbon nanotubes. There we go. Craft product. Transfer item. Quick transfer. Carbon. There we go. There it is. So, have I done it? Yeah, I have. Complete the analysis visor to access multi tool inventory. Locate the starship in. I don't know where the Starship is, bro. I've been traveling around for ages trying to find it. I lost my freaking direction. I don't... This looks like it's a different hub. A different set of um, buildings over here. So this is... I don't know whether to go to them or keep looking for the Starship. I may as well go to them, right? I'm like pretty close. I need to get more sodium. I'm gonna run out of sodium soon. I don't want to trek off too far either because I run out of resources and I could possibly die. It seems so close but yet so far away. Oh, that's right. I have a scanner, so... Scanner recharging. I have to wait for my scanner to recharge before it can scan the, the starship again because it should tell me where the starship is. So I'll just go over here. Do I need to recharge the scanner myself? Launch thruster, pulse engine, detector shield, rocket launcher, on suit, jetpack, hazardous protection, minerals, analysis visor. That's all. That wasn't it, but I need to do that. The analysis visor. All right, so it's giving me something different to do now. Test the analysis visor, healthy. The analysis visor highlights points of interest. What's this? Regional of planet? Damn, I missed that notification. Flora funnel of minerals to earn units. All right, so there's plenty of sodium. Sodium. Get some more of this stuff. A ferrite dust. Is that this? I'm confused, man. Is that the same place I just was? I think it's different place because those supplies were over here before. Accessing our drive. It's the, sa it's the same same place, I think. Recover supplies. So we needed to do, we needed to go back in to do this anyway, so we can get the hemorrhagic seal. So we can find that first. Or did we already find that? Like, did it give it to us after we initialized it? Anyway, I'll just look through those supplies. I'm not going to worry about the rusted metal. I'll take up too much, too too many uh, slots. So I think, right? Where the f so thermal protection active? Setting out travel eight thousand U radio. Right so here, here are those two things. And when I when I come towards them, I'm pretty sure the first time I come towards both of these pods was from that direction. But I just come from that direction, and there was nothing over there. So did I come from that direction? I've overloaded my brain with too much information. I cannot remember what direction I came from. And I think last time I actually went up that way. Or did I go that way? Or did I go that way and then around that way? But I need to go up that way and then down that way. I'm going to go up this way and then go right. And if over this hill there's not those boxes that I've seen before I come over the, the hill before, then it's got to be that way. So this hill is bigger than I anticipated. I do remember seeing that big thing as well. I think it may be over this, over here. No, uh, the, the hill I went up was steeper than that. So is it over the other side of this hill? It'd be nice if there was a map. Is my scanner working? Because the scanner's... The scanner's still recharging, so I don't... I can't see the icon either that it's telling me to go to, which is supposed to be somewhere, right?
more yeah. more parts to my ship. I might need to start back at the checkpoint and uh, just redo it because I've lost all direction here. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Turn to ship. What does it say here? We'll just have a bit of a read. Starship repair the other materials. To repair the ship, I'm going to need better tools. Blah, blah, blah. The ship's marker is always present on the compass. Oh, so we do have a compass and the compass does work on this planet. The compass is at the top of your HUD. I don't know why I didn't see that before. So it's, a, it's at the top of the screen here. And that, that is a compass. I, I didn't notice there was a compass. Usually you, you got a map and then... Anyway, probably should have noticed that. So the star, the ship, is this way. There's a lot of different modes in this game too that we can play. So we'll play some like fighting modes and stuff like that where we fight battleships and fly battleships and things like that. At the moment I'm just playing, I think it's the casual mode or the normal mode. The exploration mode. I'm exploring and trying to troubleshoot to get out of trouble because my ship is broken and I randomly landed on this planet not knowing how. So it's over this, over that hill. Here's a notification here. Region of Planets New Itchy Model. Come on guys, smash that like button. I think maybe you guys just aren't that much into the exploration mode. You probably like the fighting mode or something like that. I just want to fix the ship and then we can try a different mode. So it's over that side. Well, there's some more ships. Oh. Journey milestone accomplished. Drifter traveled 10,000 chaos. They don't sound friendly. I'm not going to recharge my tool. Carbon and sodium i got to find on the way too. There hasn't been much of that around. So just over the top of this hill we should be able to see our starship. I'm going to get Gotta get this ferrite dust too. dust too. Why am I getting stuck in between plants? So yeah, there are those resources that I found when I come over the hill. And there's that that thing there. Ooh, what are they doing? More starships. It'll be down here somewhere. There you go. There's some sodium. Some more over here. I'll just go out there and grab that. What's that over there? I didn't see that before. There's my starship. I'm gonna go up there after I fix the starship, see what that place is. And then maybe try a different mode. Here's our ship. Let's repair it. Oh no, 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 hold on. I have an inventory, begin the installation. Launch thruster critically damaged. Rocket launcher. Thermal protection module. Repair. Your technology is critically damaged. Shiva Fetra. Launch thruster critically damaged. Launch thruster. Your technology is critically damaged. Advanced materials require pure elements, so I have to go search for more materials. It's a lot of work to reconstruct a portable refiner, craft metal plating. I'm gonna go up to that, to that place that I've seen, and maybe on the way I can find my resources. What's this H? Is that pure fire? Portable refiner? Oh nice, thanks for hitting the lighting guys. 630 likes, 36 likes. That's crazy, it just went from from uh, 6 likes to that. I think it was up here, the, looked like a, some type of construction, or some type of building. Oh. I, don't, I think I've lost where it, where it is. Oh look at the planet. Oh I didn't even know I could do that, what is that? I've got different thermals. Can I zoom in? Yeah, I can. Look at that. I swear I've seen it up somewhere. 
It's hard to find it because you can only see so far. Rusted metal. Atlas Pass. Atlas Pass. Right, we need to find an Atlas Pass and then go back there. Or is that the Atlas Pass that I just... Life support gel? No. There it is there. Doesn't look like there's any life form on there. Look <laughs> at the size of those mushrooms. Oh, you can run faster. Far out. I wish I had known that. It's different though. Instead of pressing down the left analog button to run faster, you, you press down the right analog button. Try tribute to Nesgrav. You. Oh. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stone maker. My mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the geek. We are the masters of the galaxy. The overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit with banded kneel to the almighty geek Dominone. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works and despair. Seek help with language. Seek knowledge of the past. Seek knowledge of the past. Historical data revealed. Ancient ruin. Arrive in 742. Signal detected. Let's go to the ancient ruin. I know I'm getting off track here and I'm supposed to fix the starship, but I uh, want to find out more about this place too. And we can do the other mission on, on the way, so we can find our resources on the way. Uh, advanced materials required here. Access build menu. So I'm just going to quickly go back here and then build and see if that does anything. A vital piece of planetary equipment, the re refiner allows gathered substances to be processed into more powerful and more advanced materials. The portable refiner can be dismantled and redeployed for any transportation. Note, the portable refiner requires fuel to operate. Metal, I've got the metal plating. I think I need more oxygen. I need more oxygen. And I think I get that from carbon, which is... What the hell is that? We're getting sidetracked here. There's so many things to explore. I think I get it from carbon. <sighs> oxygen. Integral to the atmospheric filtering technology at the heart of the exosuit life support system. Exosuit material processing allows oxygen to be harvested directly from appropriate planetary flora. Other plant life may be scanned with the analysis visor to reveal alternative oxygen supplies. So I just got it. The more plants I get, I can get oxygen. I, th I thought that plant would give me oxygen, but... So, is this place still marked on the map? There it is, over there, the other side of the hill. But I've got to make sure I'm not using up all my resources for the, for the gun too. The laser beam. I think if I get sodium, I can recharge the laser beam. Uh, Multi-tool beam powered by carbon-based elements. So there's plenty of carbon around. I'll just recharge it now, actually. Resource deposit sodium. How, how do I collect this? It doesn't look like I'm protect gathering it. it. Doesn't show any points. Can you guys see me? Okay, I'll you guys haven't been able to see me, probably. Turn my light on. This should be better. Well, it's a bit of a trek, but find out the history of these um, alien gods or celestial beings. This plus C plus. I find out what that is. Journey milestone accomplished. Carbon crystals. They're red carbon crystals. The other ones, all the other one, other crystals are being blue. It's the first red crystal I've come across. Here's a starship. Life support system is getting low. Oh, look at this big one. I probably should have waited to repair my ship. I didn't know it was going to be this far away. I should have repaired my ship first and then just flew over here. But um, I guess we're still re collecting resources, minerals and stuff. So more rusted metal. I don't know. We'll grab it Might as well. There's another knowledge stone. You have learned the geek word for friend. I keep saying geek. It actually says geck. 
We have arrived. <laughs> oh! Is there something here I can find out about the history? Here we go. New item recorded to catalog. Gravitono. Ooh, these guys. New guide entry unlocked. Tentinels. <gasps> oh! Are they attacking me? No! How dare you. of my laser. I'm almost dead. I've got to get out of here. I thought I was going to find out some information there. That's... I didn't expect to be attacked. Come on, buddy. Get on over the hill. Journey milestone accomplished. Destroyed five sentinels. Sweet. Oh, they're just deploying their spawn beacon everywhere and they keep coming. I need to find more sodium to heal up and then go back and fight them, I think. Oh, what are these? Can... This is why I've got to find food. If I offer these creatures food, they will probably help me fight creatures. Why am I calling creatures? Animals, whatever they are. Where do I find food to offer these creature pallets? Starship. I haven't got, I don't think I've got any creature pallets. What's this? Fire belly, raw ingredient. I think my health, my health's good. I should be able to go back and keep fighting. I need an advanced laser for that. What's that blue thing there? Deuterium rich plant. Power surge detected. If I set up this um, launch thruster, it might, or the, re the repair thing, it might uh, gather me res. I think it gathers me resources as well. Oh crap. I've actually lost oxygen. I needed to get more oxygen. Oh, look at this. This thing, this thing gives oxygen. There's heaps of those. So all I need to do is get oxygen from one of those. Well, there's not heaps of them, but there's plenty of those around, so... Oh, there's another one there. Or is that a different... That's a toxic one. This one's oxygen as well. It's so weird. It's pumping out gas, but it gives you oxygen. It's pumping out uh, toxic gas, but it gives you oxygen. I don't know. Probably... To a scientist, that probably makes sense, but to me, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. How much oxygen we got? We've got enough oxygen now, so we can go build. Do a Fahrenheit. I don't know if we have enough of that. A portable refiner. Pour the portable refiner. I don't know if we have enough pure refiner. But we'll, we'll see. Actually, it, it'll tell us here if we do. Metal plate. We'll just need the metal plating and the oxygen, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Did I just waste my... Damn it, I wasted my oxygen. That was so stupid. Oh my god. I gotta find more of those plants now. I should have built the thing first. I don't want to run low on health either and die, so that's just as important, I guess. That's more important. Yeah. Alright, we just need four more, so there's another one. This will be enough. Alright, let's go build. 
Altcaster, which is secondary weapons. Secondary weapons? Personal force field? I don't know, I, I gotta try and get all that stuff too. Personal force field, bolt caster. Where's this thing I'm supposed to build? It should be under starship, right? Rocket launcher, launch thruster. Right, so I need more resources for that. But there, there is something I was trying to... Hazardous protection automatically recharges in shelter. Shelter in your ship. So I can regenerate my suit and hazardous protection inside the starship. So that'll save me resources. I'll just keep going back and doing that. Advanced materials required. I thought I had all the materials. I've ran out of oxygen again. What? I thought I had oxygen. I'm gonna have to go get more oxygen again. There was some more over here I seen. Nomad. <laughs> Didn't like that. There's one more over here, so... We'll just keep gathering heaps because as many as we can, for some reason it runs out. We'll work our way back before we run out of the oxygen. Oh, do I need, I think I need that stuff as well. A vital piece of planetary equipment, the refiner allows guaranteed substances to be processed into more powerful, blah, blah, blah. the portable refiner can be dismantled and redeployed for easy transportation. Note, a portable refiner requires fuel to operate. The fuel is metal plating and oxygen. Um, there we go, so I've built it now. Fuel supply, refinery output, storage hopper. Uh, a hopper for storing the materials generated by the refinery. Fuel inverter, changeable power unit. A piece of rechargeable power technology, the fuel inverter ensures an even flow of power to autonomous machines. So I can keep recharging the uh, starship and then keep regenerating my suit. I think that's the way it's going to work. I just got to keep finding carbon. And there's plenty of carbon around with those those little small 100%. That'll do. Let's hop back in here, recharge our suit. Restore point saved. All right, nice. So that's restore point. So we've played this little bit of exploration for a while. Oh my god. We might go change our mode. Go back to the main menu and change our mode. So, uh, just saved, you can see there, uh, reload restore point, 20th of the 7th, 2024, 1700, 172700, which is, it was a minute ago. Reload autosave, so it's autosaved, alright. Excellent. Uh, quit to select mode. Oh, okay, it's a mouse. I keep forgetting this, this thing's a mouse, you move it around with the analog button. I'm not used to having some type of thing where you select the mouse on the Sony. It's usually up or down, selecting through. It's very different. New game. We'll try and find something uh, something that looks more bright. So we were on normal mode there. What's relaxed mode? A streamlined experience, fewer systems to manage lower costs. Custom, yeah, I guess you just figure that out yourself. Um, it is explore and create freely. No costs, no damage, no limits. It's probably cool. That'd be cool. No limits. A survival challenge, more hazardous, smaller inventory, increased costs. I don't know if I want to do that. Community exploration, undertake a... We'll go, I think we'll go creative. So we'll go into creative. I'm just going to make another tea and we'll start this back in a sec. Alright, see? That wasn't that long. So what have we got here? This planet is minus 60, which is freezing. I can't even imagine those temperatures. It's so cold. I guess we're just gonna take off, right? Use the mining laser to gather resources. Starship guidance message, R2 to take off. Press square to exit. Let's take off. Wow. Where are we gonna go? I reckon we follow the compass and uh, go to these resources. It doesn't actually show, it sh I swear I've seen a box there somewhere. South, south or north? Let's go north. Oh, there's some resources back over this way. I've just seen a, a little thing come up on my uh, radar. There it is, over here somewhere. There's something here. There it is. Oh shit, 
How do I land? Do not know how to land. Shit. Let's turn back over. I don't know. How am I supposed to land this thing, man? Square. Oh, there we go. Square to land and square to get out. Who's this little dude? Hey, where you going, man? Don't run away. <laughs> so, I don't know where that box was. It's over there. That looks of it. So, I should be able to fly over there and land. Now that I know how to land. Am I in the right spot? Maybe that wasn't it. I think I have to get up in the sky and try again. It was here somewhere. Is it worth it? It's worth it for me. I just started today, so I brought it last night. Well, I can't find that supply thing that I was trying to find, so we'll just continue doing normal missions as it as it says. So here's a mining legend to gather resources. So we'll go we'll go somewhere rich with the resources. Uh, it'd be nice if I could see all the, where all the resources are while I'm inside the ship. Restore points. So this thing has oxygen. Moderate. I got moderate or something from that. Mordite. Alright, so we can use this thing to explore and have a look around for resources. This little guy. He's got two legs and no hands. What the fuck? Well, finally able to offer a animal food because it's creative mode the other one you had to find resources stopped as companion collect milk ride let's ride it <laughs> oh, what oh my god why is it taking me to this i want to ride this animal i don't know what's going on here what's happening oh, i don't know what's happening i think it's a bug so we're gonna we're gonna get out for a second quit mode selected i assure you Alright, so it tells you up here the sage modes. This is creative and this is normal. So you're not getting confused when you load back in. So we'll load back into creative and hopefully it's not bugged. Alright, is our starship here? Don't tell me our starship's up on that. Where's my starship? Anyway, let's just. What I was trying to do was ride an animal. So let's do that. There was an animal just here somewhere. Where'd it go? There he is. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, what the hell? This is so slow. Can he run fast? <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. Well, let's jump off. Interact with him again. And adopt as companion. New title unlock. Creature lower. Adopted an animal companion. <laughs> the creature has become your companion. You can adopt up to six alien creatures as companions. So, in the first mode, if I had... In normal mode, if I had a food, I would have been able to adopt those large dinosaur looking creatures and they would have helped me fight the alien machines that were trying to kill me they're gonna be following me around this is a weird looking thing let's make an army of animals hey buddy want to be my friend where's the other guy <laughs> it's just this little guy now what? i had two of them get this guy oh you got more interactions with them so gently pat give treat Ride, customize appearance. What can we do with this appearance? Oh, we can change his color. Let's make him blue and make him blue and green or blue and yellow. Give him a pat. Now, he's, now his heart's going up. His heart's all green now. Give him a treat. No, oh, he's all happy now. I don't know what happened to the other two though. Like they're not, they're not following me around anymore. I wanted to create a little army of guys following me around, but Where's he going? Oh, I've got like an extra, a bigger laser now. Oh, look at all this stuff that's unlocked. Base computer, portable refiner, nutrient processor, construction research unit, signal booster, save beacon, save point, communication station, anonymous mining unit, atmosphere harvester, marine shelter, exocraft, pilgrim, Geobay, Nomad Geobay, Roma Geobay, Colossus Geobay, Minotaur Geobay, Nush Nushlon Chamber. Oh, I guess we'll just start setting all this stuff up to figure out what it is, right? Why not? Here looks like a good spot. Oh, my ship's up there, so how am I supposed to get up there, bro? Like, it should have started me up there with my ship. That's where the checkpoint was. I don't know how I'm going to get my ship back. Look at this. Use to summon your ship. Hold down. 
let's I can summon my ship somehow but I'm not sure how here we go summon vehicles cannot land here summon trade rocket cannot land here why not we're gonna have to land so we're gonna have to go somewhere more flat to be able to summon our ship and the next thing I'm gonna do is get my animal to try and gather my resources and food and stuff like that because it said something about gathering resources and food I don't know where's a decent spot let's try here still can't get it there I think we could basically land anywhere it's got to be able to land here right oh there we go here it is cool so yeah we'll go somewhere more flat and we'll start building stuff I don't know if my animal can come with me though so we'll go back down here which is close to where our animal is anyway so it should be able to run down to us all right so what are we going to build actually we're going to get our see if we can get our animal to gather us resources and stuff we'll call him over here where is he? I don't know where he's gone. Alright, so there was something else here in the menu where you can get people, get something here, need resources. So, does that mean our animal's gonna get us resources if it was here? Or is it just uh, an emoji? Now we're gonna start building stuff. So, base computer, let's build a base computer. Searching choreographic archives. Virtual archive search reveals no prior claims on this site. Sona test confirmed site is suitable for construction claim site. Let's build a portable refiner. I need resources for that. Maybe. I need to go get resources for it after I build it. And then we'll build next one nutrient processor. Next one construction research unit. Signal booster. Oh my god, this is the first this is deployable technology. And then you've got large structures, and then you've got timber structures and then you've got stone structures alloy structures advanced technology power and industry furnishings holy crap this game is huge let's build shelter first before we put up we'll put all that technology in our shelter so we'll, we'll get a shelter first right, what shelter do we want a square square dome there's our square dome everything I'm, I'm able to pick everything up but not the computer Oh, the computer's the one that needs to go inside. How do we get in here? How the hell am I supposed to get in there? Come on. What? Surely there's a way in there, right? Let's build something else. Maybe you can't get in there. Let's just build a dome. Oh. Hey, is that my... It's not my pet. Do I need to put a door, a doorway in there or something? There's it. So, I need a door. So, I'll put a door on there. And I can get in now. So now I'll put all of my technology in here. Base computer. Oh, I can't put my technology inside. Or oh, have I got my conical metal? I need metal for it. Oh, that's right. The computer's still outside, so I can only build one at a time. So we put the refiner there. Nutrient processor. Construction. Signal booster. Save beacon. What's the difference between save beacon and save point? Save beacon, portable waypoint maker. Once activated, beacons provide a permanent navigational waypoint facilitating repeat visits to specific locations, allow users to record their progress at any time. Metal plating and a save point. A buildable save point for managing your progress. It's the same thing. I guess I'll just put this, this I've already put it there, so i already put a, a save beacon there. I think uh, other people can spawn here too. What else we got? Communication station? I want a communication station. I think we're going to have to put this outside or in the dome. So we'll get a door. No, we can't put it in. It has to go outside. Okay. Let's put it on top of here if we can. No, oh, I guess it's just going to go on the ground. Alrighty. Alright. Looking pretty good so far. What else are we going to do? Autonomous Mining Atmosphere Harvester. Put that there. Still got to fig f figure out what all these things do too, so... Look at all this. Navigator. Oh, I can control it myself. Whoa, let's go. <laughs> That's cool. All right, back you go. I'm not sure if you can like, fight and blow things up or not. No. <laughs> he might be able to do um, certain fighting modes in uh survival mode fuel harvester fuel in murder yeah i started started communication station online awaiting user input leave message 
Actually, let's write my name. We go inside and have a look at the rest of this stuff here. Let's save our progress. Signal booster. Locate nearby structures. Oh, it doesn't look like there's any nearby structures. Portable refiner. Process raw materials into usable products and substances. Let's put titanium uh, tr tritium in and invert it into dihydrogen. What else can we put in and, and convert? Um, silicon powder? Glass. So, leg meat. That's what I got from those alien looking things that I, that I lasered. Let's see what leg meat gives us. Probably gives us food, right? Quest operation unavailable. <laughs> Why is it unavailable? It's not a food processor, I guess. It's a material processor. So we need a food processor. Do we have a food processor? I don't think we do. Nutrient processor. I put one of those down. That's this thing here. Right, so I put in the leg meat and then I put in the... Oh, if I put in the mordite and the leg meat, it will give me creature pellets. So that's the secret ingredient for creature pellets. The leg meat and mordite. So in normal mode, if I find these, then I can hire those, those animals by giving the creature pellets. But uh, we're just going to create processed meat for now. This is making me hungry. So I guess I just eat the meat and it makes me stronger. I don't know. So suit, starship, and so ingredient storage. Let's go with ingredient storage. Access ingredient storage. Move to stack. Exosuit inventory. So if I move it to the exosuit, all right, maybe I can consume it. So let's have a look. I don't know how to consume it. Let's see here. Consume, there we go. They even use the exact word I did, consume. Square. Total value is going down while we're doing this. What's it doing to me though? What's it doing for me? Did it give me extra health or something? I guess that'd give you extra health, right? If you just consume the meat, so... Let's see what else we got here. We should probably put some... What is it? Aloe floor panel? Some solar panels of some sort? Science terminal, agricultural terminal. Let's put all these terminals up. First, we need a bigger building. So, what's our science? What's our science lab going to look like? Curved kernel. This one. I don't think I have enough. I don't have enough resources. I'm just go this one. We can get this one in here. We can probably put two right. Another one there. And we'll get some doors. Didn't want a door on that side door there. Let's go to our... First thing I want is an agriculture terminal, because that's probably the most important thing. Um, science... science terminal? Exocraft terminal? A radio station tailored to the needs of technicians and equipment with supposed to be vehicular design software. Construction terminal. A research station tailored to the needs of construction overseas and equipped with agricultural and engineering design software. So a research station tailored to the needs of scientists and equipped to research and development of scientific blueprints. So we're probably going to need that and the agricultural because they go hand in hand. Uh, base salvage capsule. Construction recovery device. The optional piece of base technology stores and preserves matter left over after the destruction of a previous base. Galactic Trade Terminal. A trading terminal that provides instant location access to the market for resource resources and commodities. A trading terminal. Instant location access. Does that mean people can access this location or something? To the market for resources. Does that mean I can access it, a market for resources, or can people access here for my resources? Guess we'll find out. So you can buy, it's just a shop, you can buy stuff. You can buy and sell stuff. That's cool. So I can, I'll go to my agricultural terminal. Farm, farmer required. The agricultural terminal requires a skilled farmer to operation. You can recruit farmers in space stations with geek control systems 
So I need a farmer to get all my plant foods and everything, and then I can sell all of that in here, and I can feed feed myself to keep my health up and stuff like that. What else do I need? Weapons. Let's get our weapons. Not weapons. Cranking. Weapons terminal requires a skilled armorer to operation. You can recruit armorers in space stations within controlled systems. So how do I get... How do I get there? Galactic catalog and guide. Exploration guide. The galaxy is a wide and full of wonders and it is yours to explore. While on a planet you can discover and rename mineral flora and fauna using the analysis system. I wonder if I just go up into the sky I can find a different planet. Let's see how far my ship can go. Is it gonna take me to a different planet somewhere? Hold to exchange boost. Alright. Let's boost into space. Let's follow these arrows. It might take us... Oh, there we go. There's some more planets. Space station. Let's go there. Oh, space junk. Oh, shit. I gotta be careful going through that. Jeez, there's a lot of it. <laughs> so it looks like it's gonna take us a little while to get there. Now the space station isn't really where I needed to go, I needed to go somewhere else, but we'll go to the space station. Because I need I need a farmer. What's this one? Known planet. Known planet. Three and a half minutes will arrive. <laughs> Oh, that's the space station there. I thought the space station was was actually this huge planet here, but there it is there. All right, so where do I dock? Is that it in there? Looks like it's over here, maybe. Learning sequence unavailable. Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do, bro. This is hard. Why is it unavailable? Come on. Let me land. I want to go in there. Just here? Is this where it is? Come on, let me land. What's wrong with my sequence? Current location, Osco Gordy, Herox, Economy, Scientific, Flicked, Alarming. Where do I want to go though? I wanted to go somewhere where I could get soldiers and farmers and stuff. Rongok, All Flight Galaxy, First Contact, Rongok System. That's not it. Wow. Uh, is it this one? Oh, that's too far. Must be this one here. Alright. I want to go somewhere with more life form. I don't want to go to a dead planet. Incoming transmission source unknown. You are not Kazar alone. Please identify yourself. I'm Kazar. Should we remain silent or identify ourselves? Let's identify ourselves. You left me, Kazak. Why did you? Tell them I don't understand. Of course, you'd say that. Of course, you'd just be like others. Let's ask who I'm speaking to. There's no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Wonder what's going to happen when we enter. This planet looks dead. I don't know how there's any life form on this planet. Oh. We go through the atmosphere. Oh, we've got guns. I didn't know that. Galactic navigation unavailable. 
planetary interference. Alright, so I don't really want to be here. This planet looks dead, so we'll get out and we'll explore somewhere else. Out of jump range. I really want to... What, what's that galactic core over there? Oh, it's just a thing. I am in the galactic core. There we go. We need to go to... Was that where I started? Ge I, yeah, that's where I started, Gek. So I'm going to go back there for a second. I think that's where I was anyway. And I don't know if it's going to put us back where our base was or not, but we may have to reload back in our base. And then um, I've got to find out the other planet that I need to go to. Unless this is the planet I need to go to. Can't remember. First contact. So this must have been the planet I needed to go to. Extreme weather planet detected. Extreme planets have very high hazardous levels. Collect highly val valuable resources from deposits on the surface. The process to get there is too long. I'm gonna reload, reload back on the planet where I was. Oh my, it auto saved me out here. I want to load back in to where all visited systems. Oz Gordy. Is that where I was? <laughs> Guess we'll just go here. Someone's behind me shooting the rocks. Can't shoot my guns like I was in the planet. I thought I could shoot shoot the rocks. Alright, we're here. Oh wow, this planet looks amazing. It's got clouds. Planet Bono entering atmosphere. Oh. There's a lot of clouds, even down near the ground. There's lots of water on this planet. Wrong button. That is not how I wanted to land. I didn't damage my ship, did I? Who are these guys? Oh. Thought he was gonna come back and shoot me. Where's he going? Wow, look at this water. Can we go for a swim? Can we go underwater? Oh, we can. Oh. Ah! What's that? Oh. He tried to suck me in. You know what? Let's go laser beam him. Can we? Oh, we can't. Hey, you asked for it. You tried to suck me in. Oh, what's he dropped here? Oh. Hypnotic eye. <laughs> That sweet, sweet meat. Well, I used up a lot of my resources to build all that stuff on the other planet, and I don't even know what planet that was now, so I've got all that stuff that I could use on that planet to explore even more. But this is the planet where I want to set up base. I like this planet. So far, anyway, until, until I find another planet that's better, but. So I think we'll set up our base over near the water. Whereabouts on the water though, that's the question. There, there looks good. I haven't got the option for all of my other huts and everything that I build. Mustn't be able to do that on this planet yet. So what do I do now? Marine shelter, an emergency survival module can be rapidly deployed on the seeable in the event of oxygen and other. Let's get this going, if we can. We need more resources, don't we? Living pearl. Glass. I think if I get diamonds and then I transfer crystals, I should be able to get glass from crystals and and, and salt. No, if I get salt, I can use the uh, portable refiner. What was it that I used to make that thing? Was it titanium? Tritium? No, it wasn't that. Is it silver? No. What do I need for glass? A living pearl. So I need living pearls as well. It just went from day to night. I think I can get living pearls from inside the ocean if I go inside the ocean and I kill those things that try and suck me in. Jetpack power surge detected. Let's go water and see if we can get some pearls. I think this is where... Well guys, the power just went out. So, that's a power outage.